All right, so um, have you ever heard of uh, Walter Scott? I'm not sure. How about John Scarney? No. Do you know who any of these people are? No. Okay, well, I'll give you a little rundown of who these people are. Uh, Walter Scott was known to magicians as the phantom at the card table. He had an incredible ability with his cards. He would find cards blindfolded. That's the easiest way to say it. He would find any card you wanted or four of a kind uh, and deal down and find a card. John Scarney uh, is a legend that he could cut to any card uh, or cut to the four aces from a borrowed deck of cards. Now, this uh, can be a borrowed deck. If you have your own deck, we'll use yours, but uh, I promise you there are no markings, no nail nicks, no punches uh, of any sort of this, of this deck. Okay. okay, and yeah. you can inspect it if you'd like. <clears throat> now, uh, I also brought here with me a blindfold. So, uh, after you're done inspecting the deck, you can also inspect the blindfold. All right. Yeah. All right? I'll now, uh, yeah, please do. Do what you got to do. Now, uh, as you're doing this, I'll tell you some more about Walter Scott. Walter Scott was known to uh, blindfold himself and find uh, uh, the four of aces or any form of kind that was called for. Um, I'm going to try to do uh, you one better. Yeah, make sure that blindfold is really legit. Now, Walter Scott uh, was able, had to see the cards first. I'll, I'm not going to tell you how he did it, but he had to see what cards he was finding. I'm not going to see what cards he was finding. In fact, I don't want you to even tell me what cards you're gonna, uh, I'm going to find. So I want you to go to the deck and pull out any four of a kind. Um, you can do aces if you want, but let's do something uh, uh, a little better, a little different. Um, any four of a kind, and when you're done, place those four of a kind right uh, in front of you at the table, okay? All right, now I'm going to blindfold myself. Uh, for this, and I'm gonna need your help a little bit just so there's no way I could, because uh, I really can't see what's going on at the table, all right? Okay. Are you happy that I'm blindfolded, I can't see anything? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. So take the four aces, uh, or whatever, I'm sorry, whatever cards that you grab and place them down to the side, and when you're done, you should have the deck in front of you, okay? Yeah. I want you to pick up the, the, the uh, uh, about a third of the deck. Uh, we're, we're actually gonna make four piles, so just grab a small packet of cards and give it a quick little overhand shuffle. Yeah, that, that pack, exactly. Give it an overhand shuffle, and when you're done, place it into my hand. All right, so I can just place it. Uh, that, feels, that's, that feels good. Yeah, perfect. Um, do that again with the second pile. And when you're ready, just put that into my hand as well. All right. That's, okay, that's good. Yeah, uh, do this uh, a third, third time. And we're, do this, remember, do this four times. So uh, take as long or as little as you need. Exactly, and that's uh, number three. All right. Okay, and the last pile, do the exact same thing. So in front of me, there should be four uh, uh, packets of cards, four packets, around the same uh, uh, size. Uh, okay, so um, you, have, you should have the four of a kind that you decided uh, in front of you. Yeah. What I'd like you to do is I want you to take one of those four of a kind and place it on the first pile of cards. Okay, and then once you've done that, place the second one as well, and then the third and the fourth, once you're done, let me know. Okay. All right? Pick up the first packet of cards, give it a cut, and give it a shuffle. All right, and you're gonna basically just do this uh, three more times. So give that a shuffle when you're ready, and then when you're done, place that packet in front of you. And pick up uh, the next pile when you're ready, and then do the same thing, uh, and place that back on top of the first pile that's in front of you, and do that with the third one once you're ready, and then the fourth one. So like that. Now I don't want to touch the cards anymore up until it's time for me to deal. Okay, uh, let me know when you've uh, shuffled all four packets. Uh, and have one uh, deck of cards in front of you now. Yeah. All good. set? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling kind of good, so how about take up, the, take up the whole deck and just give the whole deck a shuffle? Really? Yeah, the whole deck a shuffle. Give the whole deck a shuffle. Now, um, let's, let's recap. Let's think about this. You took out a four of a kind that I don't know what you chose. They could be aces, they could be twos, they could be kings. I don't know what they are. Um, you place them in four spots that you decided. You shuffled the entire deck four separate times and then one further time the whole entire deck. Yeah. Is it fair to say that I don't know where the cards are? In fact, I don't know what the cards are? <laughs> I think it's pretty absolute. Are you still happy that I can't see a thing? Yeah. Okay. Place the deck into my hand. Uh, place the deck into my hand. When, yeah. Are these cards face up or face down? Face down. Face down. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to try to find the cards. You ready? Um, let's see. You're either in deep suspense or bored. I'm, in, I'm intrigued. I hope so. It's two.
<laughs> Take those cards. Okay. Now, um, 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 these are the four. There are four, there are four cards in front of me. Is that fair? Yeah. Is there anything else on, on, the, on, the, on the mat? Nope. Okay. Uh, name your four of a kind for the first time. The threes. Threes. So the three of clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. If I got one of the threes, uh, that'd be impressive, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did I get a three? You did. Okay. Three of so there should be three of hearts. Did I get another one? You did. The three of spades, the clubs, and the diamonds. Uh, don't worry, it's like 15 years of my life, no big deal, right? <laughs> I'm not impressed at all. You noticed two moved, one didn't. Yeah. Who's, who's Jules? That's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend, of course. It's interesting, because that's his girlfriend, too. It's interesting, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it is Jules. Ladies and gentlemen, Jules. <laughs>